Ryan, what if there were zero dimensions? That's not enough dimensions for anything. It's enough dimensions to drop the beat. Are you high? Is that why we're having this conversation? You, you've been getting baked with the kids. What if, man, like... Like, two dimensions, like, flat, right? So what would, like, no dimensions be? What if Arc System Works made something that wasn't, like, a fighting game? What? Uh, what? What are we playing, Jeff? This is zero D beat drop. Is that how you say it? You don't say O-D beat drop? I have drop? no idea. Okay. It is clearly a zero. Yeah. It's too... All. And sometimes it has a hyphen, sometimes it doesn't. Is this like a bootleg DDR game? Because that's what I'm getting from this uh, title screen. God, I wish. But no. Uh, this is a uh, rhythmic puzzle game. From your friends at Jams Works. Yes, Jams Works. Um, is this a... Uh, I don't know, something. What is this? Yeah, it is. Yeah, good, good call. This is a every extend extra clone. Yes. No. Okay. It's it's a uh, it's a puzzle game. So basically, okay, y you know Puzzle Fighter, right? Uh huh. So what if instead of having separate gems that busted stuff, what if you dropped the gems on beat with the music using the X button to bust the blocks? You know, so it's like you can drop them normally to create big blocks the same color, and then when you're ready to break them, you can drop them with the X button, and as long as you do it on beat. Ah, uh, so you're no longer, like, waiting for right. the ideal combination. So don't you hit A. I'm in it to win it, or, you know, to play. Yeah. Those uh, are some crazy-ass shapes. Yes. All right, just hit A, I guess. All right, all right. Else so here. let's let's have three colors. Yeah, five single set. Too much. And you can pick some different music. You know, you just got the beats per minute listed. So free. To a party. That sounds like a with, different game. I said we go with satellite emergency. These are all fine game names. I guess, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, you Definitely. need to hit A, I guess. I keep hitting A. All right, so how am I rotating stuff here? A and B. Okay. And you just need to start the drop on the beat. You don't need to... It doesn't need to land on the beat. Okay. Got it. And also for consecutive drops on beat, those, that meter on the outside edge of the screen will start to fill up. And then something will happen. Oh, that's interesting. It does seem like it's it's got a fair amount of leeway to, uh, to the beat dropping. Yes, but that'll uh, that gets tighter as you get higher up the. So you see my meter is full there. Yes, I have to be deadly accurate. To, to get it to work what, now. Uh, is there a downside if you miss a beat? Uh, you basically lose your multiplier. Okay. Got it. Also, if you if you drop stuff without breaking stuff, that's when your enemy's junk shapes can, can drop on your end okay. of the screen. Okay. I think. Yeah. It's, uh... Also, if you drop off beat, they won't break. Worth noting that the controller is force feedbacking the entire time yeah, well, with the beat. So it's I'm actually with with this song I'm finding it easier to time it based on when the rumble happens than the music itself. Ba bam. Chain it up. Yep. Hot chains. Echo through the hood. Yes. Okay, so I'm kind of, yeah, so we're basically just kind of fighting each other's junk off. Nice. <laughs> That's sexy. But sometimes I want a little junk. I know what you mean. So I can make hotter combos.
Oh, all right, that was the wrong button there. Oh. Make sure to not hit that button by accident. Take some of my junk. At this point, I'm just letting you drop it on me. So I'm gonna reflect it back at you tenfold. That was not tenfold. Well, not yet. And I neutralize it. Oh, I didn't neutralize it. Shit. Oh. Put a little four chain for you. Whoa. Uh-oh. Crapping up your screen. This is getting bad. Fight back. Level four chain back at you. Oh, you think you're bad? You don't know how to drop the beats. Not like I do. Oh, man. All right, maybe you do. <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> so it seems like it has that, that kind of puzzle fighter mechanic of sometimes dropping junk on the other player is the worst possible thing to do. Right. Um, so the game also has the beat o -matic that'll let you take music uh, from you know your 360 hard drive and you can kind of incorporate it into the game. Does it have to be on the hard drive? Uh, it's not going to go over network stuff? I am not certain. Okay. And uh, it actually kind of, like, it tries to analyze, but then it also will tap. Um, you, you have to, like, kind of tap the button as well to kind of help it analyze stuff. Oh, to give it a better sense of where the beat actually is. Yeah. And also, weirdly enough, like, you have to pull up the media player and select music that way. Um... Let's try. Let's see if it'll do it over the network. Connect to your laptop here. See what you got. Oh, I didn't think my laptop was connectable. This might not work. All right. Well, let's do the hard drive then. Or I've got this plastic little album on here, just to test with games that have this specific functionality. Um. How about how about now I holler? Okay. Make this a properly M-rated quick look. Sure. <laughs> so it's busting through. Oh, it's just playing it. Yeah, it's just playing it. It has to play the whole song to figure it out, and I can kind of tap also. Here, I'll start tapping here a sec. Let me turn it up. Actually, I can't, I can't hear it well enough. So I'm just tapping the X button. And it's, uh, yeah, it's popping up there, giving you an idea of uh, roughly your BPMs. All right, so about, about a buck 25. Yeah. So like once you lock in, or like once you've kind of figured out what the beat is, there's no way to just skip to the end of this. You have to let it play the whole song. I think I have to let it play the whole song. All right, well let's get the hell out of here then. Stop capturing. Okay, so now I have to stop the player. Game audio, and then it's got the results, and then I can actually kind of adjust what it is to so kind of. I've yet to get this to work properly, by the way. I should note that. Oh, okay. Uh, so, save sync data. Return to menu. Now now can see if we player. can... Player. Let's 
See, maybe I can't pick it here. Maybe it's only in single player. Then was it? Your music can be used in. Oh, you know what it is? I have to. I just start playing it. Um. Yeah. So if I go multiplayer, two player versus, and hit it. This goes up to four players. Yeah. Now if I, if I go play the song. This is kind of janky. A super. Super. Janky. So now it shows up there. Okay. So now we, I just hit, press A until it's time for the party to jump off. Oh yeah, and it doesn't even like it's not even starting at the beginning of the song or anything. It's just however like you, how however deep into the song you, you got before. This one seems to be holding uh, pretty well. Last time I did it, the tempo was all over the place. Oh yeah, this seems to be working well enough other than just the... No, now it's off. The jankiness of the setup. Now the... See, it's back on? Yeah, it's back on. Fighter strategy here. Just get a. Oh man. It seems like the the rhythmic action of this makes it a, a more measured experience than something like Puzzle Fighter, where you're just going as fast as you can right. all the time. Like there's something Yo. to. Yo. So I got I got some some blocks for you. A little bit. Oh God! Well. Uh, oh God! Hey, friend. <laughs> a little something for you. And I didn't have a match there, so I get I start getting it. You start getting the gas. Oh. oh. One more of those is going to just about do it. A little more back at you. Oh, no, I missed it. I missed the beat. <laughs> that's so good for you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that's kind of the pressure it puts on you. Like, it, it makes you have to be very on with the rhythm uh, what, what with that stuff. What would there so. if we had finished the song? It's like it's doing now. It is just playing the song on loop. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't hear that. Yeah, I couldn't catch that. So there you have it. Zero D beat drop. That's uh, available. It's kind of cool. It's like 10 bucks? Yeah, so yeah, it's like 10 bucks. It's uh, like some of the music, the music sync stuff is kind of janky, but I like the style of this. I kind of wish they hadn't put avatars in it because it kind of breaks up the look of the rest of the game. Like, like all this stuff, stuff looks awesome, but the uh, equalizer gone crazy look. Yeah, yeah. You can do up to four players, online support. Yeah, I like the uh, you know it's it's puzzle fighter with a little twist. Yeah.
So there you go. In stores now. Yep.